Hi everyone, today we're gonna to be talking about Brenna Thumbler's Sheets, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, Geo here, and finally, I gave Sheets a try. I have had this book for quite a while in my collection, and I finally read it. This is published by Lion Forge's um, young adult division called Cub House, which I think is insanely cool. I love that idea. Uh, what is What the heck is Sheets all about? Basically, it's sort of this slice of life... Uh, tale of the Glatt family. We follow Marjorie Glatt, our main character. She, as, after experiencing a family tragedy, she just inherited uh, this laundromat and she is running it by herself mostly. And it's putting quite a stress and pressure on her because she is in middle school. I think she's 13, 14, something, something like that. And to have that type of responsibility so early on it can be heartbreaking uh, you know there are a lot of it's an insecure time when you're growing up especially in school with uh, so many characters and, and bullies and of course you're working so you've got people that are uh, kind of rude and unbearable uh, you've got people plotting to take over that place stuff like that so right out of the gate you have a character that you feel sorry for and that you understand uh, her sadness and her um, why she's grieving throughout the book you know every character in this story has a sense of I want to say dread but it's more like like there's a weight on their shoulders because of this uh, tragedy and they're trying to overcome it, but, you know, circumstances keep happening and, and stuff happens. <laughs> so, the flip side of this book, and you're probably wondering if you've never read it, why is it called Sheets and why does it have this ghost on the cover, is because it is sort of a supernatural tale. On the other side of the story, we go to the land of uh, ghosts where uh, the other main character in the story, a young boy named Wendell passed away way too soon and the character is now a ghost so to sort of retain his essence or who he is and stuff they these ghosts wear sheets like the traditional method of scaring kids you know cutting two holes on the bed sheet and pretending you're a ghost floating around so Wendell he is a wholesome young boy he exaggerates a few things, uh, how he passed away, uh, the people that he grew up with, and it's sort of like this extravagant lifestyle with like uh, food and animals and um, hunt hunting things and safari or something. And he, one of the brilliant parts about this book that I really loved, it was the council therapy where the ghost would gather on their alternate plane of existence, I guess, which kind of looks like a rundown um, old western town, something like that, you know? So they would gather and like an AA meeting and discuss how they died and all that stuff. It's through that window that we meet our second protagonist and how both um, the Glatt family and in the case of Wendell, they're experiencing grief and being and feeling lost, you know, for very different circumstances, but there is a common thread in there. And the book sort of follows her journey, not only to make amends with what has happened, but to move forward. And in that insecurity, how can she run a business in the case of the laundromat? And with Wendell, you're following a story about you know, a uh, uh, confusion because it is. I think he was like an 11 year old kid when he passed away, which is way too young. And him not really fitting in in this land of ghosts and, and wanting to find uh, another purpose and 
in, in this case in the world of, of the living another aspect that i really liked about sheets is that uh the people on earth even if they're bullies even if it's the main protagonist marjorie and all that stuff they have very set expressions to the way they behave and look you know the glad family is sad and depressed and you see it uh bullies and all that stuff they have mean scowling faces but it is the dead people the ghosts that have the most expressions and i'd love that so much even through a sheet of uh, a blanket you can have uh sort of these wonderful beautiful expressions through the, the eye sockets and their uh the way they gesture and all that stuff and raise their i guess hands because they don't really have a physical body it's you know energy and all that stuff and they're using the sheet to sort of materialize and interact uh they also it, it they also lose part of themselves if they are uh, forgotten i assume they mean in the real world with us uh, rem uh forgetting about uh people that passed away and all that stuff so that was pretty uh interesting the main selling point for me though with this story has to be the artwork this thing just looks and feels and has just this amazing atmosphere it's a beautiful story to look at the backgrounds the characters the way they look it it's all just gorgeous and i loved it so much this is probably one of my favorite panels right there where uh by the way yeah look at the expression on both characters she is in this scene of course she's a little bit angry and wendell you see um sort of his frown and and how worried he is and yeah over there look at the amount of detail and the coloring used on that page it just looks uh amazing i i love this so much there's a blue ish tone or hue throughout the story that really makes it um sort of like an ethereal uh read and it goes along with the paranormal stuff which i i liked it's it's sort of foggy looking i guess look at the artwork right there with wendell and how much uh expression there is on those eyes <laughs> but when you go to the land of ghosts and i'm probably saying that wrong but when you go there it, it sort of has this ink blot, uh, like a pen art uh, that it's supposed to be uh, black and white, but it looks very hollow and empty. And you sort of, it gives you a sense of, of dread, obviously, because they are forgotten characters. But, uh, and you sort of feel sad for them. And there's some really cool art right there. Here's what I meant earlier with the town looking kind of uh, like Old West. With all the ghosts and they have their meetings right there. Looking pretty interesting. I, I just love the whole concept of basically giving a voice to the uh, deceased in a very interesting way. This is not a scary book. This is not a book that dwells on that stuff also i don't know if it's me but everybody in this freaking book has wonderful interesting looking hair it looks really awesome and it just flows fantastic uh you know the author has a real knack for uh movement in this it has sort of that indie charm but the way the characters move from panel to panel i really enjoyed it i thought it was really well done uh, you get a villain of sorts to the story, which I thought was pretty interesting. The way that ends was pretty awesome, and it's probably my favorite thing. This book really reminded me of reading or watching the uh, Casper animated shows or reading stuff like that. It really brought me back to a more simpler time, and I, I really enjoyed it. I think, uh, like I said, the younger crowd will really get a kick out of it. Uh, especially uh, kids in middle school and, and, and even high school or us adults as well can enjoy a simple story about a character grieving and uh, allowing herself to um, grow as a person because of things that have happened and meeting 
a friend in a twist that she didn't see coming which I think is fabulous and the characters are very well realized and their dialogue is pretty real and pretty interesting. I really enjoyed reading Sheets. Uh, this is a wonderful graphic novel that you can get for a few bucks and you will be rewarded with a, a story unlike Caves and Cows that uh, goes off the beaten path with a different sort of uh, plot. So, yeah, Sheets, you've probably read it. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of it. If not, don't worry about it. Do me another favor if you can. Subscribe to the channel here at A Week in Geekdom. That was terrible, but I'll go with it. Subscribe to the channel here, like, comment, and just keep on being awesome because I really appreciate you guys. We are on the road to 2,000 subscribers. I cannot wrap my head around that stuff. 2,000 viewers watching my videos oh, that's awesome thank you so much everybody uh, you can follow me on social media uh, Facebook Twitter Instagram all that fun stuff I'm usually there posting and sharing news and all that stuff so yeah thank you everybody for tuning in I've got to go I've got more stuff to read and, and review for you guys so I will catch all of you on our next episode <laughs>